Hey guys, it's Randy with KC, and welcome to KC Academy. Today we have the founder of Gambler 500, and we want to get more information from him. So Tate, what's up? What is the Gambler 500? Ah, that's a good question. Um, to be honest, it's different every year, so it's constantly evolving. It started as like a off-road adventure rally, just with like a few friends, and then accidentally uh, via social media, it just exploded and we decided to step into it. And uh, when it got really big, we knew that we were putting a, a toll on the public lands that we were using. And so we really kind of converted it to a public land cleanup. Um, so we work real close with the BLM, Forest Service. People are, are rallying around on public lands uh, alongside our nonprofit and our app, the Sons of Smokey, um, and, uh, and, and picking up trash and having an absolute fantastic time. And we got 4,000 people here uh, in the wackiest cars you, I, you can ever see. I'm gonna say, Absolutely not wacky, but awesome and super rad, dude. I mean, dude, I love it. Like, dude, I, I love that you were here. I, I have been a KC fan since I was the little kid, and I got my first 4x4. And I actually, I remember my grandma. She was like, "What do you want for Christmas?" And I was like, "I want a pair of KC Daylighters." That those those lights are actually on Chuck from Hoopty Crosses uh, really? Budweiser Nissan car. Uh, oh, yeah, when we built right. that back in the day. Those are my original KCs, and they're still kicking. They're awesome. Oh man, that's so freaking yeah. rad. We got to see that next time. But so. In the Gambler 500, like I know that it's nationwide. So how does that work? So when when our little event, which I have to apologize to the original gamblers, you know, there's just a group of like 30 of us, and this blew up into this crazy thing that doesn't really kind of look like what it is anymore. Because this is more of a festival, right? We have 20 bands, we have go kart racing, we have mini bike racing, we have Traxxas RC car racing out here, um, and so we knew that the the, the the a lot of the, you know. Just, smaller events would be fun. So we decided to let uh, other people in other states license the name and logo as long as they didn't monetize it. Uh, and they, it was all about picking up trash and having fun. It wasn't about being a big event. It was about just having fun with your intimate friends, so. Right, right, right. So then I noticed a little difference in, in this kind of setup uh, this year. Like Hoopty Cross is here. Yeah. And like it's literally just w right around the corner. Like how does that work with you guys? Like, I mean, we, we kind of get the sort of the gist, but if you could give us some insight on that. Yeah, so, so Hoopty Grass was born from the Gambler 500. Uh, it was, the, the, Chuck has a real, real itch for racing. And so when it kind of became this desert, you know, the public land cleanup, he was like, dude, we need to race. And so that's when we kind of introduced all, you know, invented Hoopty Cross racing, which is racing for cheapish cars, which is people assume what the Gambler is. But uh, it, it, you can also bring your side by side out and it, anything. And I think you talked to Chuck, and he probably can do, do a lot better job explaining. Yeah, it. Dude, uh, no, he it was awesome. He gave us the breakdown. Yeah. But this, like, what you guys are doing, what they're doing here, dude. I mean, look at that. It's a freaking camper. It's a camper, and there's a boat back there. Oh, yeah. They're doing some good work out here. So man. Th this is this is only a, a little bit of what, of what we do. We've got six dumpsters that are full out the way. We got four more dumpsters up in the grasslands. Uh, up there and then we're not even done yet. I mean, it's Saturday. It's basically, you know, it's only day two of our three day event. Um, but one of the one thing I probably would want to talk about is the nonprofit Sons of Smokey. We have a new app out. And I think your viewers and your customers, uh, whether or not they're overlanders, campers, racers, are tired of seeing crap out in the desert. So it's not just about the gambler. This app you can download. If you're out there and you see trash, a camper, mattress, and you can't haul it, you can mark it on the app, take a picture of it, it uploads it, and then it uploads it to everybody else's app. So the Forest Service is using it, BLM is using it, outdoor enthusiasts are using it, and then stewardship groups like us, but also, you know, whether it's Tread Lightly uh, or, or uh, you know, even the Sierra Club. You know, we can all agree that, uh, that, that trash on public land sucks. And so let's, yeah. let's fix it. Absolutely, dude. I mean, man, they're doing some awesome work. Thank you very much, dude. Dude. Loving yeah. a good, we're, we're just having a blast out here. Um, well, I'm proud that you're out here. I'm, it, 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 you guys are doing a great job and uh, I love it. Thank you, man. All right, thank you. Keep up the good work. Appreciate right. you. Hey, ABG, that means always be gambling. Thank you for watching. If you like the content that you saw, remember to like and subscribe. Till next time, adventure further.